Uh, welcome to this video and in this video I want to explain to you how you can improve your video and photo quality on the Xperia 10 Mark II. And to do this all you have to do is get your camera app, get it into 1080p 60 frames per second and then just start recording. Maybe you record your audio source as well just like I do here externally with a nice little audio recorder. And you can see it's very wobbly because 60 frames per second 1080p is not stabilized. But if I do this, suddenly it becomes stable. And this has something to do with the software that I use in post-production to make it stable enough. 60 frames per second is a lot of frames per second. And these are pretty much very good for stabilization in post-production. So what you can do is simply use Google Photo, which comes pre-installed on your device already and you just open up the video you click on edit you click on stabilize you click on save copy and that's it now you have a copy with a stabilized video pretty nice isn't it and you can do this of course also with 4k you get the best quality in terms of video but only 30 frames per second 30 frames per second means eh, slightly less frames that could lead to like this blurry botchy effect even a wobbly effect that you see even if you have stabilization enabled or if you enable the post-production stabilization. I think the post-production stabilization works pretty nice with 60 frames per second. You can see I'm walking around here in the University of Auckland Park, old government house lawn and um, yeah, pretty much very good uh, video that you can create. People are partying right now because uh, graduates uh, graduated from the university currently and uh, yeah, there's a party also in Albert Park. I will go to Albert Park and I will show you some footage here now in terms of photos, because in photos you can also use the same trick. You can use Google Photos to improve your photography. So your photos, simply click on edit, click on enhance, and just like in the 80s or 90s sci-fi movie, it enhances the image in terms of the raising the shadows, uh, po getting more punch into the colors, and I told you already with, when I did the comparison with the OnePlus Nord camera that it produces a more punchier image, more punchier colors, this HDR effect image as well. And if you like this image, I don't like it, I would like the Sony one that comes out of the box, but if you like this punchy colors, if you like this punchy image with this slight HDR effect, then you can just simply try Google's Photos app and just edit, enhance, it auto enhances pretty nice already, but if you want to just simply edit this further, you have the option to just raise the highlights, you have the options to just raise the shadows, tone down the highlights, add more punch to the colors manually if you like to do so. So it's all possible with the Google Photos app. So this would be like my secret little tip for you. Don't just take the out of camera image and videos and they say, ah, it's not so good. You have the tools already built in your little smartphone that allows you to improve the quality dramatically. You can see this here with the video, super stabilized, 60 frames per second, very nice video quality. And uh, yeah, you can do this with your Xperia 10 Mark II. And write down in the comment section, if you tried it out, how much it improved, if you knew about it even, and yeah, what do you think about this kind of like optimization in post-production? And of course, if you have some further tips and tricks, you can write them down in the comment section. And uh, of course, if you have some questions as well. And that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.